Hi guys. Hello people. I'm Elena Mola. We're watching Better Call So, Oh my god. Uh, episode second nine. to last episode, literally. We can only watch one. Why? Because we took too long of a break because we couldn't stop talking. <laughs> about and, nothing. And about literally nothing here. And, and so now we're stuck with only watching one episode yes. and leaving the finale until the next one yes. but look but we're gonna people have had to live soon. like that you know people exactly. have had to wait week after week for episodes so like why should we be any special and but like we're not waiting week by week we're waiting exactly. always it's waiting even for less. a few, uh, it's a few gonna days be less. very excited to see what's gonna happen in this one especially with Kim and Jimmy uh, they started they, their business together right now and, and Jimmy has already episode, started being yeah. colorful and in the last episode Jimmy has somehow he uh, did something to those files uh, while the truck was literally being un- uh, like helpless in the next room you know he wants to him and him and mcgill wants them to like screw up because the papers aren't gonna be correct and then when they screw up then mesa verde that's yeah. what it's called um is is gonna maybe want to go to kim and i don't think he's gonna tell kim that necessarily which is not this, which is not a smart idea boy especially because i don't think she's gonna be down for it could be wrong what if like kim learns that she's like you're brilliant i'd this- be shocked I'd be shocked. I kind of don't. So. I kind of don't expect that. No, I. Uh, I'm pretty positive that's not gonna happen. I don't think Kim would uh, risk anything to get caught, and this is a really good moment for her. She finally decided to leave HHM and yeah. like start it all on her own, and yeah. she's. I don't think she would do anything to risk that. I mean, this is what I always like expected Jimmy to like start doing like these types of things. I mean, it makes for a great storyline and. Um... But then at the end, Chuck was like, "Thank you for staying." Oh god, that was horrible. It was like fucking. And thank you for staying Sad. with me. And he was like, I, "I just want you to know, no matter how bad we are to each other, like because of everything, I would." Also stay there f- and be there for you. And Jimmy's like, I just copied all of your files and I, tried to destroy I, I'm your case. I am about to screw you over. Yeah. Like, and because, like, <laughs> although I don't understand, like, those are the 2000s. So, like, people, things are on paper. I was, like, expected digital, like, how, <laughs> yeah. but, like, things are in paper. And I don't know if, like, the only files that uh, Hamlet, so. Ham and McGill are with fucking, yeah, uh, how so. is that possible? How, did, how did they not keep it in the law firm? Uh, because he is the law firm and he can go to the law firm. Well, he does go at night. Exactly, and that's his name. So it's easier mm-hmm. for him to, when he's working on the case to... That's cruel. And if Jimmy if Jimmy really won... And uh, Jimmy didn't know if they only had those files. Mm-hmm. But I think they... Yeah, 100% those are that files because Jimmy would never do stuff like that if he wasn't sure that he's going to screw him over. Yeah, I mean, there's, a, there's like a difference between Chuck being... Um, who he is as a person and like having a, a very strict view on what law yeah. is and then not believing that Jimmy could yeah, ever that's change. Exactly. That is, that, that, like that's maybe not being a good brother. Yeah. Uh, but like then there's a difference between Jimmy screwing his brother over yeah. and like doing yeah. this to files. I think there's a difference there. I mean, very interesting. Like their relationship is, not, is like one of the most interesting parts Part of this of show, show for yeah. me. And, and also Mike and Ignacio. I mean, so far, mm. Mike is not thinking that you right now. Look, I keep, Mike ma- I keep waiting something. for that. I keep waiting for Mike that. Mike is doing something. He's spying on uh, the horse. I wonder, is, is he, like, trying to learn information and get leverage I and somehow, so. you know, yeah, I think use so. it to his advantage or, yeah, like, I sell so. the information to someone or, I don't know, something like that? I think, no, I think he's use, uh, he's spying on them to find more Is he maybe doing it for, like, Nacho them. and being to him, like, let's be partners I'm in sure. this, there your business? A, I, yeah. Because either, I need to afford either, the house. Yeah, either he's doing it for Nacho or he's gonna do it, find out the information and then go to Nacho. The thing is... Where is Ignacio in Breaking Bad? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> See? No, I'm, uh, for him, I'm 100% sure he's dies. I'm going to be very shocked after the uh, sixth season if he survives. Look, I Very shocked. I feel him. like he dies, like, season three, four, maybe five, at late, late, six, what's the last mm-hmm. season? The latest, he, but he's, the, he's dead at the end of the show, 100%. Look, everything points to him being mm-hmm. dead. I mean, somebody has to die. Of our guys. Like... Somebody has to die. <laughs> no, I see he's the only person I can see dying. Exactly. Like you don't, can, you can't see him dying, or is I mean, the only, the only person like, yeah. or like the only person I can maybe push it to see dying is like Chuck from a heart attack or something. But like, like that's I can't see anyone else die. You know, we know Jimmy and Mike <laughs> better call Saul are gonna be alive. Kim, pretty sure she doesn't die. Yeah, gonna be I'm very disappointed sure. if she dies. I'm hundred percent sure. Um, but I feel like Ignacio, I can definitely see him dying. 
Especially Maybe we'll get gonna new see... characters who can die. And I don't then think not so. Ignacio. Oh yeah, hi. Why am I not think? Why I don't think so? One. No, I just think I just think Ignacio is the type of guy that you're gonna okay, love uh, through the entire show, and then you're gonna feel heartbreak. No point in us mourning his oh, death. No, honestly, not fucking it's happening. fucking uh, season two, episode nine. Mm. What the fuck? Well, let's let's just play this episode and see what happens. Yeah. I honestly wanna go we'll go here. See, me as well, but I feel like I would find some dead bodies buried. Like, I, I just feel like people go kill someone and bury them, like, in the desert in New Mexico. I don't know. Is Mike now gonna do something? Ooh, Mike! There is... Is Mike doing is something? Is he gonna steal their no, product? Is Mike. This, this lo these look like Mike's shoes. Yeah, because of the shoes. And, and th like... this looks like Mike plan. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. But boy, does that mean you have to kill him? Does that mean you have to kill him? Oh what, what is your other option here then? Tie him up and leave him. I don't him know. Maybe it? this one is not. He's just a driver. Maybe this one. You know. Oh, he's not just. It's a driver with a gun. Like I would say, you would die. But like, is my gonna kill it? I mean, who else? But How are you confused? Give me all the things and then see if okay, you can't. Okay, yeah, He's not gonna Mike. kill. Now he, he, that's yeah. Mike. That's signature Mike pose. All of this is good. Oh my god, is it money? Oh my god, is that fucking money? Oh, I thought it was gonna be drugs. Oh, yeah, this guy doesn't even know how Mike look, like who captured him. This guy has no idea because yeah. like Mike had a mask Mike, and then we can afford the house. I can't believe what he just did. Well, he just took money. See, I thought yeah, it was gonna be like literally. drugs, but this is better. It makes for him. sense because this way he found money and nobody knows that he was the one who found money. Like, who would suspect him? Honestly, no one. no one would suspect him, I feel like. Kevin and Paige don't need both of us there. Fuck. Maybe it's strictly true, but we want us in the right message, don't we? But this is now okay, so it's a, a hearing, but it's gonna be screwed up now because they have e everything wrong. Jimmy. And look what your brother is going through. Oh god, oh, that must be hell. That must be hell. He's really trying hard. This is. He really wants to continue normal life. Well done, my friend. Aww. How are your sweetheart? Aww. Nice to have you back, Charles. Aww. His Thank first you. case is going to be screwed. I'm here with my colleague, Howard Hamlin. Personal service and attention to detail, second to none. Base of Verity continues to operate at a tier one leverage ratio of 11.2%. Uh, hold on. Feel... Excuse me, Mr. Wattel, just one moment. Um, yes, can you give us the address of the proposed Scottsdale branch again? Certainly, it's 1216 Rosella Drive, Scottsdale, Arizona, A5262. Mm -mm. 1216. I think if you double check, you'll see that 1216 is correct. There seem to be two different addresses here. Mr. Commissioner, I have a copy of our notice. Like, the thing is that, that this is like a small mistake, but like, I don't know in the law. Mexico, this is a big address, mistake. Mr. Mr. Commissioner, it, it, 1261 Rosella Drive. Well, this is clearly an error. It's 1261. I know where my own damn bank is. Oh, let's just all calm down. I'm sure we can straighten this out. I've got a building time. remodel at 1261 Rosella. Mr. Commissioner, I apologize. Unaccountably, there appears to be a discrepancy in our filing. When do you think you might be able to schedule us? I'm being told by staff that they've already done the research for 1216 Rosella Drive. Uh, our folks are going to have to go back to square one on the if new address. We, we could obtain a provisional agreement today to allow the, the branch to no, open. No, no. All due respect, it's up to you folks to submit accurate paperwork. Maybe next time, double check. Now, it's really not uh, his fault. The soonest we could revisit this matter. Well, it, it looks like uh, six weeks from Friday. We Post staff, please note that Mesa Verde will return in six weeks. No, 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 no. This is this application. That's how it's going to be. Is he going to figure out what's Jimmy? I don't know. Could he figure I mean, he was here. 1261. No. 
Oh, he changed it back to make him seem like he's fucking insane. Jimmy, Jesus fucking Christ. I don't understand. It was 12-16. It was. I checked. I double-checked. An office full of associates and paralegals let this get by. I did too, for that matter. It Howard, you're a fucking sweetheart. I promise you. Everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> Come on, you got it. This was no mistake. Yeah. Do you want more? Look, Ignacio. Don't you fucking touch Ignacio. They're best. They're fucking best. Good. It's Love it. Good. Love it. I'm Ignacio. I feel like Ignacio should get some of the share. I'm, I mean, he did none of the work, I'm, but he's cute. I just want to know who is going to be the responsible one for his state. I don't think he's going to uh, just get the Who's stroke, have the stroke. You yeah, know, I feel like I something think could some, be responsible. Some, someone's gonna be responsible for that stroke. But it's gonna be uh, Mike, it's gonna be uh, To be honest, I have no idea if you could like fake it. I mean, if you could uh, like give something someone to induce a stroke. I don't know. I mean, uh, I watched it in other shows, but is mm -hmm. it that is that, is true? that accurate? Yeah, I don't know. Are you meeting Ignacio? I'm buying a round for the house. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Look at this girl. Jim, you do not deserve her either. Let me just tell you right now. They're very cute. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, don't oh, her, your hands, your fingers. Careful. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not. Ah. Chuck? Hi, Paige. How are you? I'm so happy for you, girl, but. No, it's fine. What? Is she gonna figure it out? Well, yes. <laughs> because see, Chuck figured it out, and oh, they ask her the two of them are the people who know Jimmy the most. Okay. Oh, they ask her to Yeah, present? I'm sure. Yeah, that would be perfect. I'll see you then. I can't even be happy about this. Me neither. I <laughs> just, I, this is a horrible. I don't like the situation at all. Thank you. Oh, look at the rainbow. Oh, the rainbow. I just got makes it very Seriously? Seriously. Holy shit, that's unbelievable! Ask why, how? Uh, yeah. What do you mean? Uh, it's not a good debate. What happened to HHM? Mm -hmm. uh, Paige didn't go into it. She just said the filing didn't go through. We're gonna meet this afternoon. What's all turn around right away? I don't even know who to call to get that done. These are high class. <laughs> she's so cute. She's so cute. I think she's really not gonna be feel good about it when she learns this. You know what? You're right. Right, I'm right. Baby girl. Did Chuck say why? So when? Sure. No time like the present. Okay. Thanks. Go to Chuck's and get the paper. My security files. Chuck's ready to turn them over to me. Wow. <laughs> really? Let's just touch the thing. She's so cute. Beautiful. I love her. Oh, yeah. He changed his locks. Good. Mr. McGill had me call the locksmith and change him. <laughs> He's like ready for confrontation. Oh, oh that's terrific. So Chuck, what's the deal with the locks? He sabotaged me. I agree, you please don't bother. You and I both know exactly what I'm talking about. A single transpositional error cost my client time and money and permanently damaged my reputation. But then I realized it wasn't an error. A week ago last night, I was right there on that couch, barely conscious. And Jimmy showed up. And in the dead of night, he went through my Mesa Verde files. Hey, you know what? We don't have to listen to this. She does. You do. For your own good. Yeah. And he left me here, sweating and delirious, while he went off to doctor them. 1261 Rosella Drive became 1216 Rosella Drive. This is sounding like a lot of work. And you did it, boy. accused you of being lazy. Every other sin in the book, but not that. <laughs> and if you're wondering if Jimmy's up to a little casual forgery, you should know 
In high school, he had a thriving business making fake IDs so his buddies could buy beer. You're going all the way back to high school, huh? Hey, you and Mozart, huh? So you're saying if we look in here, all the addresses will be wrong? Well, of course you weren't. Oh my God, Kim time. knows you, boy. Let's I'm guessing say some dignity. Yesterday morning, you waited until I left, then used your key to let yourself in and return the originals. He did it for you. You have no recourse but to go to Kevin Wachtel and make a full disclosure. This, this, this whole song and dance is all about getting his client back. That's all this is. Not in the least. Jimmy could be charged with forgery, fraud, falsifying evidence, even breaking and entering. Frankly, I am sick about this. But facts are facts. And what is your evidence? My evidence. My evidence is knowing my brother for his entire life. You made a mistake. I did not. You're working by lantern light, squinting over 10 point tight for hour after hour, mistakenly changing 1261 to 1216 would be the most natural thing in the world. It could certainly happen to me. I did not make a mistake. You accuse your brother of plotting against you. You come I really up hope Jimmy knows that she's lying here. Yeah, I wonder if he just knows. I know knows. he's not perfect. And I know he cuts corners. But you're the one who made him this way. He idolizes you. He accepts you. He takes care of you. And all he ever wanted was your love and support. But all you've ever done is judge him. You never believed in him. You never wanted him to succeed. I feel sorry for him. And I feel sorry for you. What a fucking scene. scene. What a fucking scene. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Kim is my favorite. Honestly. Kim is my fucking favorite. I, I have no words. What the fuck just happened? Jesus. Kim, what? 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 What are you confused about here right now, boy? Just drive. Can you don't forget to move the paper? Nine o'clock. Why? Why this place? Like why this place? Yes, I am. It would be incredibly helpful if you could get those kids and that building over there to just keep it down. Just give them a worksheet or something. Is it Robert Holmes English? Well, yeah, and that's some great trivia. But he spent his formative years right here in Albuquerque. Chop, chop. Why does he really need heel? Like, why? Let's go here. Yeah. No last looks. Just the flag. The flag. Move okay. the paper. paper. Heroic. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you, girl. Someone thinking. Nice. Couldn't you have done this in any other place? <laughs> this is a good shot, actually. Yeah. Look at me, him being happy. But like he right now could be out. Like what he? I don't know how much money there was, but he took money. But I feel lot, like it was but a lot I for a while. Why I, do we go back into and the crime? I don't know how they connected to him. I don't think they do. Maybe Ignacio does. Yeah. We gotta talk. Ah, see, Ignacio is fucking really smart. Well, maybe Ignacio is like, I need you to find out who stole maybe, the money. Maybe or like. <laughs> and Mike is like, I need to look in the mirror. Truck headed south got hijacked. Someone stole a quarter million. Now Hector's flipping out, looking for who did it. Good, Mike. Good. It is. I think it was you. Oh, I love you. You're smart. He left the driver a hog tied, not a mark on him. Oh. Anyone in the game would have capped him without a second thought, but this driver, he's still breathing. Who's the guy who won't pull the trigger? We can give you some money. You. I'm not here to squeeze you. You want to rip off the cartel? That's your business. But here's the thing. I'm picking up that driver. Hector's orders. We're going to see what he knows. And if he knows you, that's bad for both of us. He doesn't. doesn't he doesn't work out. It shouldn't concern you. But he was in on it, right? The driver had nothing to do with it. You know? Just me. You're telling me you did this without someone on the inside. All I can tell you is you guys aren't half as smart as you think you are. <laughs> So, the driver doesn't know anything? Not a thing. 
And you're sure of that? Yeah. He saw a car. No. You yeah. You right. He did. Driver I saw a car. The papers. Is that what this is about? You wanted to put the cops onto Hector? Why? Oh. You are nothing to him. He forgot all about you. I haven't forgotten. He him. threatened my you granddaughter. Mean the shit. Just cause you got it in for Hector Salamanca? Doing it for the money. I get it. But this shit. That's insane. You need to calm yourself down. And you need to take that hand out of that pocket. It's a good thing that Ignacio is a reasonable man. It's over. I'm done with your boss. Oh, I wish you were. <sighs> Whatever. Why wasn't it in the papers? Because we cleaned it up. How's that? We got lucky. After you left, the Good Samaritan came along and said, Oh my God, oh my God. And that Good Samaritan? Hector shot him in the face. We buried the guy out in the desert. Like I said, we cleaned it up. What do I think this could have gone without consequences? Finish the commercial. I don't want to oversell it, but I think it might be the greatest <laughs> 60 seconds in the history of television. You want to talk about this? Not now, not ever. You are meant for Mesa Verde, and they are meant for you. So, all is right with the world. Your brother is one smart lawyer. The smartest one I know. I mean, no offense. The kind of adversary who find even the smallest crack in your defense. What's happening? Uh. Going against him? You really want to make sure you've got all your I's dotted and your T's crossed. Nothing for him to find. Oh shit, Cam, we're dabbling. What does that mean? In the dark waters. Isn't that like the evidence that? What, what does well, that? Well, it's I. It's like basically her saying, "Well, look, if you're doing this, these things, just make sure yeah. you're not find out, yeah. found out." Oh. oh yeah. Chuck is looking for evidence. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I thought that you meant that. I'm that guy who just walked out of here. His name is Ernie. I'm guessing he showed you my picture and asked if I was in here the other night. Now he's going to bring his boss, who's my brother, and he's going to ask you the same question. Did you see that guy the other night? Well, the answer is no. He murdered someone? <laughs> nope. Wrong the bank? No way am I that cool. Then I feel you. <laughs> he's like, I want, I want, I want this money, to work, but I don't want to uh, die. Hey, tell me about the cameras. Uh, could be tricky. <laughs> Give me more money. And expensive. Like hundred bucks expensive. Like two hundred bucks expensive. You go. I don't want Chuck to win and to completely destroy Jimmy's life because he can't destroy Jimmy's life with this. That's exactly what Kim said. So like, I uh, know I don't want Chuck to win in that case. But I'm also not rooting for Jimmy. Well, no. But uh, I mean, I am in this case actually. Good evening. Like I don't want him to. No, like I don't want him to win. But like but Jimmy is not support, making me. <laughs> no, I don't support. Proud. Guilt. In what he did, uh, my not associate. Uh, I am an officer of the court investigating a felony. So you're a cop? No, no, I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm uh, Listen, Gil. Maybe we better get you home. Ernesto, you not speak to me as if I were a child. I'm fine. Forgery, fraud, falsifying evidence, breaking and entering. This guy, is he okay? There's nothing wrong with me. Deal. Maybe we could just take a break and. Ernie, shut up! I'm out of here, or I'm gonna call the cops, okay? Do not walk away from me! We are not friends here! Done talking to you, man! Oh, 
as well. Fucking stay there. idea what's gonna happen uh, now in the next one what do you think is gonna happen is he gonna run towards him because at the same time i can't see him not running towards him but like i mean he's i agree compromising himself very much like that like they... well yes i mean but i i agree but also like right now you're like you're the reason why this is now happening uh, i mean if i watch him can you put yourself in that place because you would never do the starting point of this? But like, whatever, even if I did nothing... Of course, yeah. you will always run to your sibling, like it's impossible I not can't, to. Honestly, I can't imagine Jimmy not running uh, to him, no matter how... Maybe if they call the cops... And, I know, I can't imagine Jimmy not running towards Chuck. Like how this was very bad. Honestly, this was this horrible. This was very fucking bad. Because like, I don't... Uh, first, I don't definitely expect Chuck to die this young. Not this young. This early in the show. So yeah, I don't think he's gonna die, honestly. But he had hit his head really hard, like that there might be damage. There might be something. I think this is, mm, I'm not sure, but I think this is more to show us mm. what Jimmy is gonna do than to show us if Chuck is gonna survive this. Yeah, I think this is more for Jimmy's character yeah. to as well than be like, you did this thing to screw over your brother. And because of that, your brother somehow now ended in the hospital yeah. as a co consequence for your action. This uh, particular moment when he falls down, he's uh, saying call 911 and he doesn't know what to do. Should he run? Should not? He, or not? I thought, why don't you call 911? I think that's also the finding moment for Jimmy. Is he going to choose to help his brother or is he going to choose not to get caught? Well, Jimmy, if you don't choose your brother, I have exactly. a boy. I feel like boy. I, it's very uh, hard for me to say that, but like I, I definitely do believe that's gonna change my opinion of his character. I don't know what There's to tell no you. There's especially... no way you don't go to your sibling. Look, that is Chuck. The Chuck never have faith in you. Sure, is that like the the, the does all of that still exist? Yes, but like. And, uh, you two never had you never had something so like big in between you for you not to now run to him when he hit his head and could potentially die. What I loved in this episode was the particular moment when Chuck was talking to Kim. Mm. Oh, that scene and was in so the beginning, fucking good. I, I, I wasn't sure why he was saying to her what he was saying for a second there. I even thought that he was saying to her all of those stuff. For her, like, you know, to protect her. What I didn't realize immediately that he was saying that because that would put Jimmy out for forever. I think there was a mul multitude of reasons. I think he wanted to prove to her again, like, who Jimmy is as a person. Because, like, he told her, uh, I know you, I don't know what he said, like, I know you like, love my brother. Many people do. And that's, like, that's how it's always been. Everyone always likes Jimmy. Like, Jimmy is likable. Everyone always enjoys his company and Chuck is always the one who is like but he did this and 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 and Chuck doesn't maybe consider him I don't think I don't think Chuck considers him a bad person I just like don't think Chuck thinks he deserves think, that much like love I yeah. guess from people or something in the, along uh, those lines yeah. so I think uh, it was a multitude of things of him wanting to prove to Kim like see this is who he is and this is what he does also by that he 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 gets to let's say take him down because chuck has always believed that jimmy in law is dangerous because he's gonna do things like that that compromise the law um and and because he, he believes that then he wants to find a reason to get him away from law he also gets to have his i guess reputation restored there are a lot of things at play here but again always at the forefront of their relationship is that sort of thing between chuck and jimmy and law i definitely do believe that was the main reason in my yeah. opinion because uh 
all he's been trying to do and do his entire life was stop Jimmy in I mean his entire life uh, in these past few years mm -hmm. is stop Jimmy I, I mean he even wasn't able to work himself he mm -hmm. got mental condition because of that all he's been trying to do is to stop Jimmy from practicing the law mm -hmm. and he's been trying to show everybody and to explain to everybody who Jimmy is and how he's been and how he's never gonna change and yet everybody loves him yeah and yet he's everybody's favorite of course those people respect uh, respect Jack but nobody likes him in that way the, the way they uh, like Jimmy yeah and in this moment he finally found the thing uh, that can uh, prove that he is right once yeah. again N not once again once for, <laughs> once and for all yeah. that he is right and that Jimmy is gonna uh, do stuff like this and yeah. he told that to Kim that would stop Jimmy from ever working together but what he didn't realize is that Jimmy cares more about Jimmy than he ca she cares about what he did <laughs> uh, Kim Kim cares more about Jimmy than uh, than she cares about uh, what Jimmy did he did not expect that because <laughs> In Chuck's eyes, first comes the law. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and he, doing Chuck's the right first thing. love is law. Exactly. And then... Whereas, like, however much Kim, lo let's say, loves law, uh, doesn't it doesn't it doesn't compare for her? Yeah. I think it's you know it's Jimmy first, which is why she. And um, I don't think I don't believe she's uh, happy with uh, what yeah, no, Jimmy did. No. She's literally just like uh, we will never talk about talk about that yeah. ever again. I don't want to know what you did. I don't want want to know how she if you did it. Yeah. I don't think she was there crossing any line. In my opinion, she was literally just giving Kimmy, Kim, uh, Jimmy advice that um, he should bury all the evidence that he yeah. did because. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna get caught. And she's been doing this exactly for a reason for Jimmy to not get caught. To protect him. To protect him, yeah. yeah. Because like, just like she said, <laughs> you're gonna uh, put Jimmy like, out of the, out of the um, law forever, yeah, and like yeah, you, yeah. and he's gonna pay some serious consequences yeah. uh, because of the for forgery. Forgery. For forgery. Yeah. And I mean, forgery that. also breaking and entering and yeah, like, yeah. a lot of a lot of charges. Also, uh, then she started talking to Chuck about Jimmy, and honestly, mm. I was for a second there shocked because I didn't, I did not expect that scene scene to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, I waited for it to happen, like for somebody to say Chuck all the things he has done to his brother and how he changed his brother's life and how he affected brother his brother's life and what and that all that all Jimmy ever wanted was brother's uh, respect and approval. And yeah. he never got that. And that really did affect his life uh, greatly. I just love everything she said to him. After that scene, I feel like Kim is definitely my favorite character of this show. Mm -hmm. Next, Mike, who is for a second. <laughs> <laughs> that conversation, that was so good. I love that scene. Like, she told him, you made him this way. Like, he is, he is the way he is because of you. And I think she, you know, I think she wanted to really hit him in a place where he wasn't really expecting it. And so when she told him that, I mean, that's when Chuck, like, kind of was taken aback. And then, you know, didn't say anything after that, but pretty much. The thing you made him this way, we all affect people's lives in a certain way. I always think if you can't help them, don't worsen it for them. And, and of course, Chuck being being the brother of Jimmy, he had huge influence on Jimmy as, as a person. But we've seen Jimmy... Uh, becoming this without any involvement of Chuck when he was a child when that guy told him like you're either a wolf or you're a sheep Jimmy is a grown adult he is responsible for his actions like no matter how much uh, people around you can affect your actions at the end of the day you, you have to be a person for yourself again I do think I like this is what yeah, I was saying I at the end of season one like I do believe that if Chuck uh, maybe had faith in his brother and like wanted him to succeed and did all he could to help him maybe uh, do it in uh, like the legal way and the legal route maybe this would have turned out differently like but then again we are talking about some a lot of variables that I have no idea like I just I don't, don't think, know I don't think uh, Kim really meant like well Jimmy uh, is uh, who he is because of you yeah I just yeah, think that, he she meant the way you, 
you and I mean it, like you influence his life. Uh, yeah, and yeah, I feel yeah. sorry no, for I, him because he never had your faith, you know? Yeah, no, I I, that, I think Kim means it that way, okay. but I, like I'm like talking for general of the show okay. because I think some like some comments that like I read on TV time, it's uh-huh. like it's like a lot of uh, a lot of those things which I think is very no. surface level. Honestly, honestly, comments uh, we should never read comments. <laughs> honestly for like breaking TV bad on TV time or something. Like, what, what fucking shows the, am I watching? I really? read the comment uh, that the track is Oh my god, the worst character, the most hated character, and the second comment next, like the answer to the comment, he is like, I almost hate him as much as I hated Skyler. And I, I've seen many comments, people comparing like uh, Chuck and saying that he's a Skyler in Better Call Saul. Like, yeah, like, yeah I, so this, like, is, this is the most, read the con- honestly, yes, but the, the, it, it's no. kind of fascinating to me how like it rarely happens that for like these two shows that are like, you know, in the same universe that I have so... in TV time comments, like usually uh, when I ever read the comments, I agree with most of them. It has never in my life happened for like a show that like I, I read the top yeah, 30 I, comments, I'm like, what the fuck is... what, yeah, what are we I watching? Most of the comments and I don't understand, it's so weird to me. these two shows. Because also like you can't blame... Tra- like that's looking at it so surface level. Uh, but that, the, oh, that scene was and so And I love how, when mm. she also said like, I feel sorry for him and I also feel, feel sorry for you. Yeah. Because that is the way how I <laughs> me too honestly I just... <laughs> that is like kim is me <laughs> you know, kim, is, kim is the person i want to be you know <laughs> yeah i like that chuck told her he did it for you yeah like, I like he didn't that. do this to let's say and get I think back to me knows. I, yeah, I, I think she knows, she knows that, that he did. Uh, which I is why think... i don't think she can you know really i mean she is yeah, she was mad at the, him uh, yeah i think that's the reason but she that... understood i guess I agree as well. I, even if he didn't do it for her, I think she would still be on his side in a uh, matter of speaking that she would not turn him into the police. No? Yeah, no, that, that, that would not happen. Uh, I don't think she, uh, like, whatever. I mean, not whatever he did, but like in these types of situations, yeah. If, yeah. even if he didn't do it for her. But I think just because she knows that he did it for her and she knows that it's ro- the wrong thing yeah. to do. But we are here. We are where we are. I don't think, I, I, I honestly don't think I would react uh, like him, maybe I would. I have no idea. So I feel like I would the be situation, but I would be fucking. I, I feel like I would be like, look, I'm not gonna turn you in, but I absolutely, where I am not like gonna look at you. Literally, at just least. I would not sleep in the same bed with him. Like Honestly. fucking move away from me. Yeah, I would. I feel and like... try and like literally try doing that again. You will never see me again. But again, I will be gone. But again, she knows Jimmy, and uh, she accepted him. She completely. Like, she completely accepted him. Uh, for who, uh, but like, when he first started talking, oh my god, what kind of nonsense he was speaking! And I, in that moment, I know he, Kim knows that yeah. the track is what Chuck yeah. is telling the yeah. truth is, yeah. is the truth, and I know he know uh, Kim knows, and Jimmy is here trying to convince them that like he and didn't like, do it. And like literally, Jimmy, those are the trying, people who know you the most. Who know you the you most? Can't, and he knows that you did. Them. That yeah. and uh, Chuck is very, very fucking smart for figuring mm-hmm. it all out. I think it's a very there's a parallel to right now between Jimmy and Walter with them being able to tell lies. Like Walter was a horrifying liar yeah. when he was lying to the people that he loved. To Skyler. Uh, and and he was a great liar yeah, when, he, when was, he, he was he was lying to other people. Uh, and I think yeah. that's the same with Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We had a scene with Mike. I don't know if it's gonna hum, come back. We need to uh, see that part because in my mind, I remember that a guy literally looked at the car. Well, I have uh, no memory of that. Uh, I, I don't know if I just didn't register. We're gonna, it, we're gonna, no I'm gonna play it after the... Uh, to check if he's see, uh, seen the car because if he's seen the car, does I mean, Salamanca mm-hmm. knows what car and... Well, look, I mean, I they don't have think been it would following be... Mike exactly. for a bit. Exactly, because I don't think then it would be hard, hard to connect it to Mike if he says, I saw blue, that and that car. Yeah, I agree Old, with very you. old car. I don't think it but would see, be... But see, the, the thing is, I think Mike takes so many precautions. Yeah. I feel like this one would be an easy thing to... Like, there is no way that he didn't think this far ahead. That was the beginning, right? Let's see. He's in a... In my mind, first look at the car. Oh, fuck, yeah. Mike, 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 Mike. Is that, I mean, is that the car Mike drives? Yeah. How would you not take like a, like a rent a car or something? Yeah, then no I problem. think this is gonna be a problem for Mike because he's so fucking sure that this guy mm-hmm. knows nothing. And you and me even talk like he literally didn't see him. He saw the mask, then he put the blind folder all over his, his eyes and mouth. Yeah. And then he took the mask off. Uh, but the guy saw the car, so he's gonna tell to Salamanca. So I feel like that's why Gus comes. <laughs> 
We need protection, guys. I love Ignacio. I love Ignacio who is just like so smart. He, he figured so out smart. immediately he who figured. it is. And he's like, look, don't fucking care. I get it. You want the money. I, I love that he's very realistic about the criminal life. Like, yeah. can't even be fucking mad. We're doing criminal life. Yeah. You steal from us. Oh, well. Uh, he <laughs> just wanted to know that like it can't be traced back to him because then it could be traced to Ignacio. Yeah. I adore him. Yeah, I just too. think he is so reasonable yeah, I agree. and and so like every time he's he he, he comes and starts talking I'm like yeah sure yeah, yeah i understand yeah. this part i, I understand your point kind of view. even said that he ended up in this business especially because we saw how good his father is his father looks like a fucking sweetheart yeah, which explains then, ignacio being uh, exactly also Ign- sweetheart Ign- to me. ignacio is a sweetheart couldn't he be something i wish he was else, like uh, is he related else? is he related to uh, uh, salamanca's or no why would he be? I don't know. I'm I just like because just... I think you know it's somehow always like a family business of the drugs. I, I just thought that he uh, just went to the drug business somehow. You know. No, oh, maybe there's like a, a like a tragic backstory. backstory. Why he went I to mean, the... his father works at the car, car whatever. And he wanted money and and, and uh, he wanted uh, and his father didn't doesn't even want us trick the guy and like do you know? Like, yeah, yeah, house, the paint. Yeah, yeah, he didn't wanna. Oh, what a because, good man. Like, the car wouldn't suit. It wouldn't suit. Be, it wouldn't suit the car. Like, yeah. he could have Earn more money given than, Mike like, an ugly, like, yeah. coverings for cars. Which I is ex- more called. expensive. Like, he was like, don't do, yeah. don't do that. And that's just sad, in my opinion, maybe, that Ignacio went into this business. This was an amazing episode. This is, like, honestly, one of my favorites. Uh, honestly, this was a lot. Can't wait to see what uh, Finale brings to us oh jimmy jimmy I'm jimmy afraid jimmy, jimmy is gonna jimmy do uh, if he runs to uh tra- if he doesn't run to truck that's gonna change my opinion of jimmy but if he doesn't if he uh does run to truck it does run to truck i i don't think that's gonna end good for jimmy maybe i'm not sure well because uh, one I don't option think is better than the other still exactly because i but i don't think chuck is gonna and because like jimmy run to him i don't think chuck is gonna be like oh i want well no i mean charges. and also chuck doesn't doesn't really have a reason like to to be like oh thank you so much yeah, for coming yeah, yeah. to to my me. yeah literally, literally i yeah. had to come here to make sure oh thank you so much for coming to my yeah. aid like i don't yeah. think chuck then owes jimmy anything because yeah, jimmy came to him like yeah, i don't think I so so it doesn't really it doesn't really change but, anything uh, but like again, Chuck has no evidence to go by, so I don't yeah. know. Chuck has really nothing to go yeah. by. Honestly, can't wait to see what yeah. the next episode is. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you very soon.